Anna Kaiser. I'm from Mosinee, Wisconsin, and I've been coming to Lake Ellen for about, I think around 12 years. And the first time I came was in 2003. Um, I had recently moved to a new town and didn't really know anyone and thankfully was directed to Good News Church and there were a bunch of ladies there invited me to come to Women's Weekend. And so we came up and hadn't ever been to Michigan and when I got here it was beautiful. It reminded me a lot of home. I'm from northern Minnesota. While here between the speaker and the ladies and the bonding and everything, I started to realize that I really needed um, to have Jesus in my life. These were women who I really looked up to and I always wondered what do they have that I didn't have and just always wanted to be like them. I always saw them um, when they interacted with each other and with their kids and I wanted that. And I decided that it was time that I was ready to accept Jesus into my heart. And I did uh, with the help of the ladies and with Gary. And I decided at that time I wanted to be, be baptized up here at Lake Ellen. It was so beautiful and wonderful. And so I asked Gary if he would do it. And he said something very wise. And he said, you know, because he knew my story and he knew um, that I had two little kids and a husband at home. He said, I really think that you need to be baptized at home. He said, I would love to do it for you, but you really need them to see you do that. So that was really important to me. And then soon after, Pastor Joe, our youth pastor, invited my son to come up. And at the time, Riley, I think was seven. And I was leery of letting my first grader um, go up by himself. Well, not really by himself, but with Pastor Joe and some other kids without me though, but I prayed about it and I knew he was coming up here. So he came up here as a camper with PJ and some other people and loved it. And I can't remember if it was that summer or the summer after it, he accepted Jesus in his heart up here also. And that was amazing. And at that time then, um, he and I both decided that we were going to get baptized together. So uh, we were baptized in our home church and my daughter was old enough then to go to Lake Ellen, so we sent her to Lake Ellen the next summer, and Lake Ellen has just been an amazing, integral part in my faith formation, in my children's faith formation, and um, eventually in my husband's, because he is a long history, but was not um, convinced. and. I would pray and pray and pray that he would, uh, that Jesus would soften his heart, that um, he would be able to find um, this amazing God that the kids and I had found. And he was not interested at all for a while, but uh, after a while, because God can do anything, uh, he started to get very interested and he started coming to church with us. And one summer, Pastor Joe asked my husband to come up and I never thought in a million years he would come to Lake Ellen, but that was always a dream of mine. Finally, one summer, he decided to come. Last year, not even a year ago, um, I think because of Lake Ellen and what it's been to our family, and because of mostly God, of course, um, he was baptized in our church. So that was amazing. And so anybody who says, you know, oh, this person will never find Jesus or, you know, God can do anything. God can do absolutely anything. And I've learned that through his love and the love of the people here at Lake Ellen and the people at our Good News Church. And it's, I cannot stress enough the amazing thing that this place can do for anyone. And God is here. God is amazing. God is good. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>